history. Tomorrow gave what I could, but she called me a monster. Said she fell in love, then left, couldn't stop her. Little big stress, big plays, helicopters. Say I broke her heart, let me take you to the doctor. Used to be in pain, but I guess I'm really different now. Hey, what's up, everybody? Nazab here. Welcome back to another video on my channel and to another episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. And in today's episode, I'm finally going to be teaching you guys how to duplicate any item in Lumber Tycoon 2. As you guys can see right here, I've got all of the items that I have been duplicating for like a while now. And I've kind of been doing it so long that I learned a lot of like good tips and tricks that I could teach you guys on how to really duplicate like any item including wood and boxed axes which I know a lot of people struggle with duplicating some of the boxed axes kind of uh, such as the blue steel axe and the um, end times axe right here as well as the pie axe these are like the ones that most people struggle with duplicating so in this tutorial I will be teaching you guys how to duplicate that as well as any other gift or item that you would want to duplicate so the first thing you're gonna want to understand is how the game works when you load in your slot so right here guys is my base and it's ready to load right now but I'm basically just gonna load this to, to show you guys how Every item kind of loads in at a different time. Some items load in late and some items load in like right as your base starts loading in. So my character is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and load right here. And we're just going to look at the items. And uh, one thing to keep in mind is the axes are like basically one of the last items to load in. And the gifts will probably load in way before. But if I go ahead and confirm here, um, you're going to see that my base starts loading in all around me here and after a little while items are going to start spawning in as you can see this the snowmobiles the candies they're already starting to spawn into the trucks here then the scubas right here loose items will be probably first so those are loose items as you can see they're not in a box then after that it would be the gifts as you can see all of the gifts start loading in afterwards and i have such a big base that everything is super slow and delayed when loading in after the gifts the boxes start to load in you'll see over here box items such as the turkeys over here the voids all of that stuff will start loading in and last but not least the boxed axes will start loading in and this is the reason that it's so hard to um actually duplicate boxed axes is that they load at the very end and then i'll go ahead and teleport me right here to the middle of my base because i'm done loading and that's basically when you know your base is fully loaded so now that you understand how the items kind of load in there is somewhat of a pattern of what items load in first and the best way to kind of start learning what loads in first is by having everything laid out. I would recommend having a base that's meant just for duping, just like this one that has every item in the game. And then you can just basically duplicate whatever items you want and you will have unlimited amounts of that item. Um, but once you've got like a basic idea of how it works, I will say that this duplication works best on bases that are big with big data sizes. I'd say at least data size six or seven is ideal before anything will really start to duplicate. And you want to have as many different varieties of items as possible just to make the delay last longer. But with all that in mind, guys, the first thing we're going to want to do is actually mark out the beginner square on your base. So basically, when you start a brand new game, you will start on one of these squares. There's like nine of them, I think. And once you start off on that little square, you will then have the option to expand your land. So obviously, you most likely have a lot of land. You probably bought a max land at this point if you're trying to duplicate. Or it would be ideal to have max land and have a bunch of trucks. But if you're not at that point, you should just stick to trying to get as many items as possible to make more lag on your base. But right here, you're going to want to mark off like this with the wires you're going to want to mark the center of your base it's going to basically make this process a lot easier and the best way to do this would be to use a large floor one of these um large floors and uh then you're going to want to reset your character and resetting your character guys will actually teleport you to the very center of your base and then you can kind of jump and place a uh blueprint right underneath you just like that once you've got a blueprint at the very center of your base, just like this, you just want to go two out in each direction. I, it doesn't fit here anymore because the wire is in the way, but I, I would go basically in each direction and make a square of floors um, that is basically the exact size. And after you have the blueprints placed down, you don't have to fill them up. All you have to do is buy some wires and start to place them like so and set up your little uh, center um, duplication station I guess you could call it whatever you want to call it so once you've got your center plot basically marked off with some wires the next thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and come and basically choose what 
what you're going to be duplicating, basically. I have so many truckloads that it's kind of hard to decide what I want to duplicate for this video. But just keep in mind that this works with gifts, boxes, anything, pretty much. The only thing that I would not recommend putting into truckloads when you're du doing these middle dupes would be these glitched heads. If you guys have any of these glitched heads. Uh, a friend recently gave me some of these and they're basically heads that are glitched into each other. So you can see this this wobble head right here is actually two wobble heads glitched into each other. Um, so basically, if you try to duplicate these in a truck they will actually fall apart and um, then they won't be glitched anymore they won't be as rare so what you want to do is just place these on the floor but for almost any item you can just keep them in truck loads alrighty guys and here's the first truck that we're gonna be duplicating this is basically every gift that gives you an axe so these are all axes right here you can see this is the fire axe gift the chicken axe gift murky gift of goo which is the overgrown axe we've got different axes in there basically and uh, that's gonna be the first truck that you um, that I'm gonna be duplicating for this tutorial so something to keep in mind is the only thing you need to know is one tire of the truck has to stay within this uh, outline that you've made. So uh, all you have to do is really park and barely one tire of the truck inside of the line. You can basically choose different camera angles here to get that aligned. And as long as one of the tires is on the uh, center plot, you should be perfectly fine. And uh, this will basically allow you to have multiple trucks in the center of your base. So you can have up to 10 trucks right here and duplicate 10 different truck loads at the exact same time. But I'm only going to be doing three for this quick tutorial. So next, I'm going to go ahead and grab this uh, pumpkin truck right here. This is going to represent all the boxed items because uh, these are boxes, as you guys can see. These, are, uh, these pumpkins come in boxes. So this is going to be the boxed item that I'm going to go ahead and duplicate just so that you can see that you can basically duplicate gifts, boxes, axes, pretty much anything you could think of you can duplicate with this method. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this um, uh, Blue Steel Axe truckload. If you guys didn't know, the Blue Steel Axe is the most recent, recent axe to come out. And uh, because of that, it is actually the last item that loads in before your character is teleported to the center of your base. This makes duplicating the Blue Steel Axe extremely hard for people that duplicate. And uh, a lot of people struggle duplicating axes in general. Um, so... Before I actually park this in the center of my base, I'm going to kind of explain what makes it easier or give you kind of tips on how to do box axes because I know a lot of people struggle with it. And um, in the last episode, if you guys watched it, I was mentioning that these green spearmen axes have a little bit of a secret. And the reason I say that is because the green spearmen gift actually came this year as well, or last year as well during the Christmas event. Which basically means that this is one of the last axes to load into the game and it actually came uh, around the same time that the blue steel axes came. So these um, boxed versions of these gifts will actually load after the blue steel axes giving you plenty of time to then uh, duplicate go ahead and duplicate these. So that basically explains why I have all of these green uh, spearmen axe truckloads here. I also went ahead and duplicated this truckload and basically opened all of these axes right here just to give me more delay and more lag when doing the dupe. Lag is a big thing when it comes to duplicating in this game, so you want to have a big base that kind of takes a couple of seconds to load in. Um, if you have gifts, having boxed items on your base will make duplicating all of these gifts way easier just because they load way before the boxed items. But if you're trying to duplicate boxed items, the best thing to have is a bunch of boxed axes. As boxed axes will actually load after the boxed items, giving you plenty of time to duplicate the boxed items. And when duplicating axes, the only thing you need in order to duplicate any truckload of your choosing for these axes is to have a bunch of spearmen axes lined up in truckloads or somewhere on your base so that they basically load in after your axes and you're then able to duplicate them. Now I know I've just explained a lot and it might be a lot to take in, but now it's time to actually get into duplicating. I'm going to go ahead and park this blue steel truck right here and try to duplicate all three of these truckloads at the exact same time. Although again, you guys are able to fit about 10 truckloads. Some people I've seen do about 13 or 14 truckloads. I have no idea how they do it, but there is ways to cram truckloads into this middle plot. Now, doing this duplication does involve actually having two accounts or having two people 
either a friend or somebody else that is also playing the game in your server. So the best way to go around this if you're a solo player or somebody that just doesn't play with anybody else, if you want to do this dupe, is to make alt accounts or have at least one alt account that you can join yourself with. So if you go to the Windows Microsoft Store, which was, should be on any Windows computer or system, if you're running Windows on your system, you should have the Microsoft Store. So go ahead and search up Microsoft Store and open that up and then search up Roblox in the top here. Then you can download this version of Roblox, which is going to allow you to basically have two games at the same time. As the browser version of the game actually runs separately from the um, Windows version of the game. So you're able to then have an alt account on one game and then you're able to also have your main account on the browser version of the game. You do want to have your main account or the account that has the items that you're going to be duplicating. You want that account to be on the browser version of Roblox. So whether you use Opera or Google Chrome or any other browser, you're going to want to basically use this version of Roblox. Now I know some people are not able to click the play button here and actually play the game and I'm going to do a quick fix for you guys that can't actually open the game on the um, browser version. So if your browser is not working, you click the play button and nothing happens even though you have Roblox installed and you've downloaded it and it's on your computer, all you really have to do is search up Roblox player onto the search tab and you're gonna this is the Microsoft version right here so you're gonna want to go to the Roblox player application right click that and click open file location this will open this right here which is basically the shortcut for your Roblox player you're gonna want to right click on it again and click open file location again once you're here you're gonna want to basically double click this Roblox player launcher and that will fix your Roblox and allow you to use it by clicking the play button. So once you have your main account and your alt account both in the same game, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your alt account. And what you're going to want to do on your alt account is basically choose a slot that has absolutely no money on it and no land. So you're going to want to basically have an empty slot on your alt account, which if you just created this account, all of your slots should be empty. Once you've loaded into a slot that is completely empty, and you can do this by com basically um, joining the game on your alt account, you will have $20 and no money, no nothing. All you have to do is go to an empty slot and click save to this slot. Or if you already have a slot but you want to completely wipe that slot, you can go ahead and click the overwrite slot button which should be available if you have no slot loaded in. So once you have your slot loaded in and it's in the green and you know that you have a slot loaded, what you're going to want to do is send your uh, alt account $100 from your main account. This is going to allow your alt account to buy land. Um, once the time is right, which should be after your uh, main account does the duplication. So to actually do the duplication, what you want to do on your main account is just reload the slot. Now, the thing about this duplication, guys, is once I start loading my slot in, I have to leave the game after these items have loaded in, but before I teleport to the middle. So basically, once your character teleports to the middle, it's already too late and the items will not glitch out and save. But if you leave after these items have loaded in, it's basically kind of like a timing game. So you have to time it. You have to leave right after these items load in. I would wait like at least two seconds after the items that you're trying to duplicate load in. And then you're going to want to exit the game. Now, when if you've never actually used this feature right here and exited the game by clicking the X, it might ask you like a little prompt that says close Roblox. You're going to want to click do not ask again as that can mess with your timing and cause you to be delayed when you're actually trying to leave the game. So once you've clicked the do not pop up button, you're going to want to just go ahead and load your slot in now you do want both your alt account and your main character to be somewhere nearby to where you're about to load in so let's go ahead and press confirm here my character is kind of far away but i'm going to go ahead and walk right over here and as you guys can see all of my trucks are going to start loading in now again it's much easier for me because i have so much lag and i have so many items that have to load in so the more items you have the easier it will get to duplicate and now i'm just going to wait for everything to load in as you guys can see all the gifts are loading in so this truck right here is going to load in after that the boxes are going to start loading in and the last thing that's going to load in is the axes so we're going to have to wait a little while for those to actually load in now Duplicating axes is still hard even with all of these other axes that I have over here loading in. 
So as soon as I see the green one start loading in, I'm going to go ahead and exit the game. As you guys can see, the green one started loading in. That tells me that I'm about to teleport to the very middle as they're one of the last items to actually disappear or load in. So once I see the green axes loading in, I leave. And just like that, my blue steel axes are also going to duplicate, including all of these other items. So now what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go on your alt account after you've left the game uh, and the items are glitched on the middle now due to Ro uh, lumber tycoon 2's loading system it's very unlikely this this will ever get patched so you have plenty of time to get the items you need either by buying them from players just to create the lag needed in order to do this duplication but once you've got your items glitched out you're going to want to go on your alt account and you're going to want to buy the land that is left there with the trucks on it so let's go ahead and buy that land. As you guys can see, this is the land right here where the trucks are glitched out. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that with my $100 that my main account sent me earlier. And as soon as I buy it, I usually reset my character just so I can teleport to my base. And once I've bought it, you're going to want to basically join back from the browser version of the game, which should have your main account on it. As you guys can see, the sign sometimes messes with the truck. So I try to reset my character and remove the sign as soon as possible because it can like glitch out the trucks that are sitting here. So I try to like remove the sign as fast as I can. But once your other character has loaded in, you're going to want to make sure both of your accounts have perms. You're going to want to make sure your alt account has all perms on your main account and your main account has all perms on your alt account. Once that's completed, all you have to do is load the slot on your main account where you had all of these items. So that for me would be slot two. That's where I had these items. And as you guys can see, this is the exact same slot that I just had loaded in and I just used to duplicate. As soon as I click load in these items will be claimed by my character as you guys can see i don't even have to fully load in my base my gifts are already claimed by this character so as soon as i click reload or when i click load slot on my main account once i've joined back um, these items are automatically claimed by my alt account and are now saved to this base no matter what i do so yeah that basically means we have just duplicated all of these axes and all of these gifts so if i go ahead and load in you will see that we have the exact same thing here as well as here so there you go guys that's basically how to dupe anything in lumber tycoon 2 if you guys have any questions make sure you guys comment down below i'll be responding as many so as many comments as I possibly can. Uh, if you guys need help with something, if you guys don't understand why it's not working or what uh, what you're doing wrong, go ahead and uh, comment down below and I will try to help out as many people as I can. Now, the last thing that I want to mention is wood duping as obviously some people just want to dupe a bunch of one by one units of wood so that they can build these massive massive builds with ease without having to go chop a single tree um so when it comes to duplicating wood it's actually a little bit harder and currently i'm not able to demonstrate it um or demonstrate myself duplicating wood because i just can't um but you can use this exact same method to duplicate truckloads full of wood as well however it is a little bit finicky and what I mean by that is that sometimes the wood just will not duplicate or it won't save to your alt account uh, when you reload your base. It basically just does not save to your alt account for some reason. And uh, the only way to really fix this glitch is to wait it out. And eventually your character will be able to duplicate wood. So whenever you are able to duplicate wood, make sure you guys take advantage of it. Duplicate as many truckloads of wood as you possibly can because you never know when it's just going to randomly stop working. But with that, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, support the series. Um, I'm going to be uploading a lot more. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Hope you guys are doing great. Peace out.